What does it mean to meditate on the glories of Christ? I'd love to hear your answer to that question. What do you do? I mean do for five minutes in order to meditate on the glories of Christ? What is the process of your mind called I am now meditating on the glories of Christ? What do you do? And I'm answering that question as one way. What are the steps that we take fruitfully to meditate on the glory of Christ until we see it in some measure of appropriateness? Now, I've thought after this conference, maybe next year's conference should be a conference on prayer because the, the, the answer I'm going to mention here and then just pass over is the first answer is prayer. If you're looking, if you, if you caught a little teeny glimpse of some glory in a text, he feeds 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. You catch some glimpse. Now, the disciples, it says later, were blind as a bat to that. They saw it and didn't see it. Now, you just saw it. What are you going to do for the next five minutes? Check your email? What are you going to do? Well, the first thing you're going to do is pray. God, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Help me see what is really here. Help me see every facet that I possibly can see in the diamond of Christ's power to feed 5,000 with five loaves or to walk on water or to heal the leper or to forgive sins. Almighty God alone can forgive sins. God, open my eyes. You pray like that, don't you? We're pleading with him. Open my eyes, incline my heart, give my heart's eyes to see 